Sandon Pope! Hello and welcome again to the Intermix C Yellow Fever Award Show here. Post show, pre show, call it what you want, we're gonna cover it for you. I am your red dread DJ Akasan joining you again, and with me again, here it is, Lauren Wolf and Drew Pody. Okay, how are you guys doing, Lauren? Good, good. Great. Drew? Like always, I'm super. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Alright, we are here in week three of the Intermixy Yellow Fever Awards here. Uh, this is actually match three right now, but uh, let's uh, certainly talk about match two. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the results here. The queen of J-pop, Ayumi Hamasaki, takes in 59% of the Intermixy votes, leaving Yukie Nakama without any more tricks left to play. And for the men, the last samurai, Ken Watanabe, dominates J Pop and Miyabi with an astounding 85% of the votes. Truly leaving this J Boys challenge nothing more but a brief memoir. Okay, there are your results from match two. Love it, hate it, let's talk about it. Guys, let's go ahead and talk about the girls first. Ayumi Hamasaki. You last week, you guys called it, and it happened. Ayumi won. Pretty interesting results. Your thoughts on it, Lauren? Let's face it, Ayumi is a powerhouse. There's no getting around it. When you have eight studio albums, 11 number ones, and I'm sorry, um, 11 years straight consecutive of number one albums, who's going to compete against that? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Silence. Without a shadow of doubt. Okay, but <laughs> what? What I'm trying to figure out here is what did uh, Nakama Yukie do wrong here? Or was there anything that she did wrong? I mean, she's been... Anytime you go to Japan on an Intermixy Japan tour, anytime you go to Japan, nevertheless, uh, you do see her everywhere. She's been the AU cover girl uh, for, like, the spokesperson forever. If you're going to get a cell phone, she's the, the girl that's always inviting you in, so to speak, here. What is it that uh, Yukie did wrong? Well, like I said um, last week, um, you can never underestimate anybody. Um, both are phenomenal artists, and um, both are just hard to choose, to be honest um, with you. The, I mean, the way, really, the way I see it is Ayumi Hamasaki, the reason why she is so popular now is because if you, if you look up on it, the lyrics and the meanings in her songs, a lot of people can relate to that. Now, a lot of people are going to go with somebody who they see on a poster versus somebody who they actually feel knows what they feel like personally. You know what I'm saying? I see. Yeah. Okay, well, as I mentioned before, a lot of people compare uh, Yumi Hamasaki to the Japanese version of uh, Madonna. Uh, are we going to see a lot more of these uh, easy wins here, so to speak, uh, with Ayumi just kind of taking the crown when she uh, goes up against uh, whoever comes out of the uh, Mika Nakashima Kotakumi battle? Hmm. More wins like that, easy wins? That's kind of hard to say because when you, when you start getting into a competition like this, it brings more awareness to a lot of the under people, a lot of underdogs, a lot of people. If you go in the, on the Intermixy forums, you see a whole bunch of different artists, even people that I'm like, who is this? Who is this? That made me go out and want to know who they are. It made me go and do a search for them mm -hmm. to figure out who they are. And when you have competitions like this, it's going to bring in awareness. People are going to start going out and looking for these underdogs, looking for the ones they've never heard of. And you be surprised what you can find when you do that. I personally think Kotakumi will be taking it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ken Watanabe. Uh, you know, they both came in. Miyavi and uh, Ken Watanabe came in here. Same star point, 17 out of 25. Uh, Miyavi coming in a little bit early only because of the time that he was nominated on the Intermixy forums. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, Lauren, I know last week you uh, chose Miyavi. Surprise? <laughs> Big surprise for me. Um... I've been following Miyavi for a while, so you know, obviously I wanted to root for him. But I definitely can understand why Watanabe won. He has a pretty big uh, fan following here in the States. He's well respected, and when you when you start winning awards like he does, it's it's no wonder why you can come out ahead. Drew, I know uh, Lauren probably owes you money at this point, but uh, Ken was your guy here, and you won. <laughs> of course, um, I went with the guy that was best known, and that was Ken. He's a phenomenal actor. He's known here, plus in Japan. Um, he was going up against a guy who is a, a phenomenal singer, 
but you have to keep in mind that he's really new here in the States, so I personally went with popularity on this one. It is interesting you do mention that, though. He has a little bit of popularity. Even uh, Miyavi actually even came out here mm -hmm. uh, during Anime Expo a couple years ago to perform Two, with Skin. 2007, I believe it was. Okay, but yet still not enough to uh, uh, really take on Ken Watanabe with such films as Last Samurai, uh, mm -hmm. Batman Begins, uh, Memoirs of Geisha, so on, so on, uh, so on, so forth. We'll see how it turns out next year. <laughs> yeah. Good luck to me, I'll be next year. Exactly. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the upcoming matches. Actually, the current matches right now here on the Andermixie boards.